showing you a practically generated um, raw gel images that look something like this. I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a figure out of these images that will look hopefully something like this. So, first of all, we're going to open your gel image, the raw gel image, using either um, Fiji or Image J. It doesn't matter which, they're essentially the same thing. So, I'm going to use Fiji. Okay, so here's my raw gel image. So, so I'm going to make a panel comprising this side of the gel. So all of these PCR reactions were done using PFILE Cyprin primers. This half of the gel I will make into another panel later on. So the first thing to notice is the gel is sloping a little bit from left to right. So I can straighten that out a little bit um, using Fiji. So if I go to Image, Transform, Rotate, I think if I it's it's pretty close to correct, but if I rotate by minus one degrees, I think that should be okay. Okay, you'll see the image just rotated slightly there. The other thing that might be useful here is you might need, you might be able to adjust the brightness and contrast. Um, so if the bands are very weak, for example, you might need to tweak the contrast slightly, but you want to be a little careful here what you're doing. So um, I can change the contrast slightly. My image actually looks pretty good um, straight off the bat, so I'm probably not, I don't really need to change the contrast. Um, so I'll just reset that to the original. Okay, so we have this huge gel image, but we only want this side of the panel. So I'm gonna select this rectangle select tool, and I'm gonna make a rectangle here. Basically, I'm gonna include only the regions of the gel that I want. Um, I can move this slightly over. Okay, so I go to image crop, so now I've basically cropped that down to the size that I want. So I'm going to save that as a JPEG. So file, save as JPEG. I'm going to call that crop2. Okay, so I'm for the time being done with uh, Fiji or image J there. So now I'm going to put that image into a PowerPoint file. So I'm going to make a new presentation. Okay, so to do this, um, I prefer to use an A4 size paper rather than a slide setup, but I guess it's not critical. So if I go to page setup, I can select A4 paper, and I want the A4 to be vertical. So, okay, I would. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of these boxes. Okay, so now I can add in my, my cropped image that I just made. So, okay, I'm just going to drag it onto the file. So it's enormous. So I'm going to resize it. Um, if you grab the corners, it should resize proportionally. Make sure you don't stretch the gel in one dimension, but, but not the other. Okay. Okay, so it'll be, what we need to do now is label um, the various bits and pieces on the gel. So first of all, it'd be useful when we're writing in a text if we can refer to, uh, to say, figure 2A, lanes 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So I'm just going to number the lanes at the top here. So if we have lane 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over and I'm just going to put spaces in here to space out the numbers appropriately. Okay, so that looks fine. Okay, the next thing would be nice to do would be um, to label the molecular weight markers. So, um, the lowest molecular weight marker here is actually a little bit hard to see, it's not super bright, but it's actually this one right here, which is 50. So, um, I'm going to put a little line next to each one such that it's a little bit clearer. Um, okay, so the 50 marker is actually that faint band right there. Okay, this is a little bit thin, so I'm going to increase the thickness of the um, line there. Sorry. So I'm going to shape outline weight, and I'll just go to 3. Okay, so now I have a reasonable thickness line. I'm going to just copy that and paste it. So I can just select it, so edit, uh, copy, 
and then edit paste okay so now I have another identical line so it's easy to make them the same if you just copy and paste them so I'll put that there I'll copy and paste that again put this up here I'm gonna copy that one okay I'll just copy and paste one more so we'll go okay so these are not perfectly aligned so I'm just going to select all of these and then align them such that they're all in a nice straight line and I'll line left um, okay so now I just need to put in the values of the molecular weight markers indicating how big each of these molecular weight bands are so I know this lowest one here is actually uh, 50 base pairs okay, so there's my 50 base pairs Okay, the next one up is 100 base pairs. So I can. And next one is 200. And the next one is 300. We're not going to label all the, the, the molecular weight markers. Just label the, the lower molecular weight ones. Okay. And let's actually label one more. So I'm just going to make one more. The, the brighter one there is actually 500 base pairs. Okay, so I'm just going to align these lines again. So arrange, align left. Okay, actually, let's move them a little bit close to the gel. Okay, and then these numbers are a little bit jumbled here. So I'm going to align these as well. I'm going to align those to the right. Okay, so they're nice, nicely lined up now. Okay, so when you look at this gel, you can see what size these molecular weight markers and markers are. So you can work out what size our PCR band is. Okay, so the other thing that would be useful here is to actually label each of the lanes here. So when you look at the gel, you can immediately see without having to read the legend what's what. Okay, so in my first lane here, I have DNA from patient four okay so I can just rotate this around such that it's vertical and I have enough space for my label and I just move it there my second lane is actually also patient four it's simply a repeat so I'm just going to call that patient four repeat Oops. okay I'm going to rotate that again and just place it up here my third lane here is actually a positive control for PFAL Cyprum. So I'll label that PF control, rotate it around, place that up there. My fourth lane here is a negative control. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna align these to the top so they're, they're actually pretty good. But um, so align top, so they're all in a nice straight line. I'll move them a little bit close to the gel. Okay. So the other thing that might be useful here is if we have a little arrowhead pointing to the band that we're interested in. So when we refer the, the reader to the um, gel, we actually have a couple of bands in this in these lanes. So this is the main band here. There's also a weak band up above. So it would be useful if we can tell the reader to look at the the lane that we've or the band that we're actually interested in. So I'm just going to put a little arrowhead next to the um, band that we're interested in. And so we can tell the reader what to look at. Okay, so that's our um, gel annotated. So it would also be useful here to indicate which primers we used for these PCR reactions. So in this figure, um, these were all p falciparum primers. that okay so I think we have everything we need there so I'm just going to save this okay so this is currently a PowerPoint presentation when you, you're actually going to need this in um, a JPEG image in order to put it into a text file like a word file for example so we can export your image the file export and you select JPEG. Um, we can just save that 
JPEG image. Okay, so I'm done with this. So I'm going to close this image. I'm going to reopen that JPEG image that I've just made. And I'm going to open that with um, Fiji again, but you could use other image software to do that. Okay, so you can see in our JPEG image, we have a lot of white space here, which is going to be a bit of a pain when we come to put this into a Word document. So I'm just going to crop this in Fiji, same way as before. I'm using that rectangle select tool. Um, I'm going to draw a rectangle around what I would like. And then I can just say image crop. Okay, so now I have a nice cropped image and I can save that. So again, I'll just save that as a JPEG. And okay, so this is an image I can use um, in my figure.